I'm gonna make an intro here, guys. Hope you guys are ready. <laughs> Hello, everybody. In today's video, I am live on stream. I have uh, 22 people watching me live right now. It's uh, Mr. Brokens here, Ash. Uh, Parrot the Bro, Tony, uh, Piet HK, Sonia, uh, Litz was here, Frost Wolf, and everybody else here that's in the live stream. We are currently going to be doing the level 72 mission. As you guys can see, I am now level 72, and for this mission here, it was required to be level 72, which says talk to Professor Elm. So I'm going to be doing that here uh, live on stream. I am going to be cutting this portion of the stream out and making it into a video so not only can i interact with the stream live but you guys the people that don't watch the live streams who just watch the videos can get a look at the new content after level 72 as well so i hope you guys are excited this is the new content i will be talking to the stream while i do this video here so keep that in mind if you guys aren't a part of the live stream gang Make sure to check out the streams one of these days. We have great discussions in there every single day. And also, don't forget to hit that join button beside the uh, subscribe button. When you guys hit that join button, not only does it help me out on the channel, but you also get exclusive rewards like the special badges and emojis that you can use. And it makes you uh, part of the live stream elite. But right, let's get right into it. Uh, find help. Talk to Professor Elm. Let's freaking do it. Mm -mm -mm. Seems like Giovanni has created a chaos in Goldenrod City. So Giovanni has created some chaos in Goldenrod City. Wow. With her current strength, it'll be difficult to stop him. <laughs> Professor Elm, I'm not sure you know how strong I am, dude. I don't know how strong, it, <laughs> how hard it's going to be, but okay, okay. All right, talk to the radio tower staff. So find Giovanni. All right, let's, uh, it's the level 72 mission, guys. Let's get it going. And this is without a script too. Yeah, Burrito Man, I never script any of my stuff. I just, I just talk. You say it sometimes when you watch my videos. <laughs> hey, Thomas, how you doing, man? Hope you're having a good one, bro. And join the Discord, yeah. I will try to remember to leave the Discord link down below. And if you guys haven't joined the Discord yet, make sure you do that. Are you looking for Giovanni? I think there have been information of him lately. Do you want to ask Professor Elm about it? Yes. So let's see what that does. Okay, I got to go back and talk to Professor Elm. Okay. I literally just talked to him. And he didn't really give me any, any new information, but sure. <laughs> I think that's free 500 XP anyways, so whatever. Let me also do this one here so I can get the free Pokedex rewards. Uh, oh, I've claimed a few new ones. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've done a lot of Pokedex, I guess. So if you guys haven't done, been doing this uh, Pokédex mission, make make sure you guys do that because it's uh, some free reward that you're seeing. So now I, I gotta get some more. Okay, but let's keep talking. Let's keep doing this mission here. It's said that Giovanni has occupied the Viridian Gym. You may go and check it out. Yes, we're going to Viridian City, boys and girls. Hey, Yasha, uh, it's good morning to you, bro. It's nighttime here for me, but it's good morning to you. Talk to the explorer. See where that brings me. One sec, guys. I just gotta charge my mic. Go back to back. <laughs> Why is it taking me through this? Like, what is going on here? Like. I hate when the game does this, just teleport me there, stop taking me through the path. Uh, okay, where is it? Talk to Explorer. Oh, is the Explorer in the freaking cave? Oh, 
Well, the explorer might be in the cave. Uh, I didn't read what he was trying to tell me, so I don't know if I'm supposed to find the explorer in the cave or if I just go to Viridian City, because Viridian City is uh, literally over here somewhere. Uh, let me go, let me try to find it here for you guys. So I'm pretty sure that Viridian City is like right over here somewhere. So I'm going to click uh, talk to explore once I'm here and then we're going to see where it takes me. Hey, Jareth, how are you doing, man? Hope you're having a good day. So yeah, I'm here in Viridian City, which is where I'm supposed to be. Oh yeah, he's right here. Okay. <laughs> he's trying to make me go through the cave and stuff. Screw that, dude. Uh, screw that. Okay, let's go. Let's, hear it. let's talk. Let's see what the explorer has to say. Kid, you should know that Giovanni is now the Viridian gym leader. Wow. Okay. You better not be too full of yourself. You'll have to defeat me first. Okay, let's do it. How are you doing tonight, Jareth? Hope you're having a good one, bro. So I'm pretty sure what I'm going to have to do now is just defeat a bunch of trainers. Uh, once I defeat those trainers, then I will get to the Iridian City gym battle. So tonight we will probably be doing a gym battle with Giovanni, which is going to be pretty exciting. I do have to defeat all the trainers here first, which is probably like 6 to 10 trainers, depending on how many there is. But at the end of it, we're going to be battling the uh, Viridian City gym leader, which is apparently Giovanni. So that should be pretty cool. Those trainers are level 71. It's so hard. Is Extra Drill good? Yes, Extra Drill is pretty good because he has, I think he has Sword Dance and Earthquake. And uh, I'm pretty sure those are some pretty good moves. The only thing is, talk to the brain. Level 55, nice. Five more levels and then the real game begins. Welcome to Trainer House. We've been for a fierce battle downstairs. You may come back later. Hey kid, what's up? I'm queuing up. Can't you see if there are many people here? <laughs> it's my turn first, buddy. Da, 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 da. Mm. Use Pokemons that are level 60 so it's more challenging. Use two Pokemons, use one Pokemon. I can just use Charizard the whole time probably. Is Blastoise good? Because I don't see much in pvp unfortunately blastoise isn't that good in this game though um his ability is nothing special uh none of his like hit the moves he has in this game are really bad i'm sure if you get some tms on him then he definitely gets a little bit better but overall uh, i think there's better options especially uh, there's a lot of good water water pokemon in this game like uh gyarados Sloking, um, a few other different good water types. So I'm not quite sure how Blastoise matches up to those. Use no Pokemon. <laughs> I'll just fight the Pokemon with my bare fist. You're gonna get some chips. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea. Then maybe I can do some ASMR for Mr. Sin. Oh, this guy's got like his own little mattress thing going on here. That's pretty cool. Let's uh, see what Cal has here for us. 
Monday is your birthday. Happy birthday, man. Uh, somebody else earlier on in the stream also said their birthday was coming up here in the next couple days. So, happy birthday to both you guys, man. Happy birthday for sure. Hope you guys get what you want, man. Enjoy the birthdays while you're young. <laughs> while you still get lots and lots of presents and stuff. Dun, 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 dun. Always get snacks when watching your favorite YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. It's a good recommendation, man. Whenever I watch some live streams, I definitely snack and pick out myself. Anytime you watch TV, live streams, anything like that in general, usually snacks go along very well, very well with it. What's your guys' favorite snack? All you guys know that I'm a sucker for chips. I love chips, dude. I can eat chips. I can eat the whole bag in one sitting. <laughs> Usually I try not to because it's not good for you, but I can definitely eat the whole bag in one sitting if I wanted to. Sometimes if I had a few drinks, I definitely end up doing that. Remember this person from Pokemon game? It was Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon Fire Red. He was so full of himself. Uh, yeah, true. This is, uh, since we are here in Kanto now, as you guys can see, we're in, oh, sorry, Viridian City, which means we're in, yeah, the Kanto region, right, I think. So what that means is we'll be probably doing a lot of the fire red and leaf green stuff, like Seafoam Island, Cinnabar Island, Pallet Town, where, which is where Ash is from. So there's going to be some cool stuff going on. And then that's where the game is at now. That's the recent update that he unlocked to level 80. And then I'm curious for the next update. Looks like there's another island here. Which is very, very interesting. Because when you think about it, guys. Um, there is a couple of those. Two of them are for the houses. Where you can buy houses, right? And one of them is the safari zone. Okay. So what we might be getting is either a new safari zone or a new place where you can buy your house. So that's going to be pretty cool as well. And then obviously the rest of the game will be unlocked as well eventually. And then after this, I don't know if the uh, owner will cr keep creating more onto the map or not. But we'll see. Go to Viridian Drim. Ooh, am I already uh, battling him? Barbecue chips, barbecue chips. Yeah, barbecue chips. I like those too. Stop. What are you doing here? There's so many people who want to defeat Giovanni. You, you're still far from it. Defeat Cal in the trainer house 10 times and come back after getting the trainer badge? I have to defeat him 10 times? What? Why would I have to defeat him 10 times? That doesn't make any sense. You only watch my streams? Oh, thanks, dude. What I'm going to do here is I'm probably just going to put my while in, and then my while I can just do auto battles and just auto sweep them all, and then I can talk to the chat while it does the auto battles. It's nighttime and eating chips. Yeah, I do that a lot too. <laughs> I'm pretty bad for that, I'm not going to lie. But whatever. You only live once, right? You only live once, might as well enjoy it, dude. Eat some bunch of chips. So I wonder if I can just sweep him 10 times. If I can just sweep him 10 times, then it's actually not too bad. But if I have to actually challenge him 10 times, then that's going to take a long time, I think. Let's see. We're youngsters, so all uh, men are nowadays. I don't even know how to care for elder. Oh, my back hurts. <laughs> okay, let's put my while in here so I can just sweep things pretty quickly. Here. That's okay. That's, uh, if you can. Okay. So if I go to the. What? That was so stupid. So if I go to the adventures here and I go to the trainer challenges in Brilliant City, 
Uh, okay, it looks like Kyle is not even one of them, so... Oh, yeah, by the way, I did sweep this area already, as you guys can see, so I already defeated a lot of these trainers. But since it's the story mode now, uh, I gotta redo it, I guess, but... Ugh, I think it's gonna make me actually battle Cal ten times. Whatever. Hey, Akshay, Sewant, I love you guys too, man. Thanks for all the support, dude. Welcome to the stream, bro. Insufficient challenge choices. I once traveled the world so that I can have a battle with you. Kyle wants to challenge you. Fight. Insufficient challenge choices. What? Oh, mm, let's see. Usually I don't recommend using the energy bottles. Let's see if it's going to do all 10 at once here. What the heck, guys? You can only battle him one time per day? What? So I have to... It's going to take 10 days to complete this freaking mission? You have to study, you think? Oh, okay, no problem, bro. Really, Sonya? So it takes me 10 days before I can continue on in this mission? That is the stupidest mission they've ever released, guys. I'm sorry, but... That, that is pretty stupid, in my opinion. Uh, but okay, I mean, whatever, uh, I guess I can only challenge him once per day, so it's going to make take me 10 days to complete this one. At the end of the 10 days, I will record me uh, battling Giovanni, so if you guys want to see that, then definitely tune in for that. Um, and then we'll get into Pal Town and some of these other things. But uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that there. We'll be defeating Cal 10 times, and then by the end of that, we will... Uh, battle Giovanni in the Viridian City and I'll be getting another badge finally so that'll be pretty good and I'll be getting some Kanto badges which means I'll be buffing some more of my stats which will be pretty nice so yeah have a great day guys bye for now uh, for the video people and then uh, in terms of the live stream we're gonna keep streaming here okay so since I wasted an energy bottle <laughs> I might as well uh, use it oh wait First of all, let me make sure I did this. Okay, I did do this. Okay. So, I might as well use it. And actually, I guess I don't really need to sweep these anymore because I have all the materials. But I guess I do because I'll need some more materials for the can the Canto gym leaders. But for now, I guess I don't really have to sweep it. I think I had a mission for some of those things here. Daily Fight any trainer, so I need to fight five more trainers. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then uh, I can do some Bonhart as well. Uh, remind me, guys, to make a video on Bonhart. A lot of people have been asking for that. And it's not that complicated, it's a pretty easy video to make, so I gotta make sure I do that as well. Probably not today, but there we go. All right, since there's 30 more minutes left in PvP, I guess we can keep on doing some PvP battles. So I guess that kind of worked out anyways. So let's keep doing that. Uh, ladder division, okay. Let's go there. You have tacos? Oof, I would love some tacos right now. A good epic Pokemon for PvP. Uh, 